Meron na pong kaibigan pagharap ko sa mundo Pagsagot sa oh, tanong Nandiyan na pala kayo Magandang araw mga bata Ako nga pala si Teacher Kenneth Ang inyong math teacher sa araw na ito Handa na ba kayong maglambay Sa mundo ng matematika? Mabuti naman kung ganun Halina, simulan na natin Do you know the famous bake shop in town? Yes, the Eurobake bake shop. Let us help my friend Matty in finding his way going to the famous bake shop in town. But on our way to the Eurobake shop, there are some exercises to be solved. We have to identify if the given fractions are similar or dissimilar fractions. Are you ready for our math journey? So what are we waiting for? Let's start the adventure! Let's go! Oh, there's a giant rock. Let's answer the first exercise to pass through the giant rock. What are the given fractions? Similar or dissimilar fractions? Very good! The given fractions are similar fractions because they have the same denominators. We can now pass through the giant rock. Oh! There's a hole. Let's answer the second exercise to cover the hole. What are the given fractions? Similar or dissimilar fractions? Correct! The given fractions are dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. We can now pass through the hole. Oh! There's a wall. Let's answer the third exercise to break the wall. What are the given fractions? Similar or dissimilar fractions? That's right! The given fractions are dissimilar fractions. We can now pass through the wall. Oh! The bridge is broken! Let's answer the fourth exercise to pass through the bridge. What are the given fractions? Similar or dissimilar fractions? You got it! The given fractions are similar fractions. Now, we are already here in the Eurobic shop. Eurobic is located at the boundary of Malolos and Digintok, Bulacan. It is owned and run by Ramos family. It was established in the early 1980s and has been known through the years because of offering delightful delicacies and pastries using traditional recipes. It is also known as the home of the old passion and saimada of Malolos and original in Ipit. Now, we are already here in the Eurobic shop. Let us help our friend, Matty, in cutting the two in Ipit into four equal parts. Using your pen, draw two rectangular shape on your paper. Again, draw two rectangular shapes on your paper. You can do it! Again, draw two rectangular shape on your paper. Alright, I think you're already done. Now, it's time to divide the two inipit into four equal parts. Again, using your pen, divide the two inipit into four equal parts. You can do it! Alright, after dividing the two inipit into four equal parts, let us have the first inipit. 
color the three parts of the first inipid. Again, color the three parts of the first inipid. Are you done? Let's proceed to the second inipid. Color the two parts of the second inipid. Again, color the two parts of the second inipid. What fraction is shown in the first inipid? Very good! The first inipid is divided into four equal parts and we shaded the three parts of it. So, the fraction shown in the first inipid is three-fourths. How about the second inipid? What fraction is shown in the second inipid? Very good! The second inipid is also divided into four equal parts and we shaded the two parts of it. So, the fraction shown in the second inipid is two-fourths. Now, let us add these two fractions, three-fourths plus two-fourths. In adding these two fractions, we have to follow three simple steps. Step number one, make sure that the denominators are the same. Do they have the same denominators? Yes, what are their denominators? Very good, their denominators are four and four. It means they have the same denominators. Step number two. Add the numerators. What are their numerators? Correct. Their numerators are 3 and 2. So let us add their numerators. 3 plus 2 is equal to... Very good. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And then copy the common denominators. Again, their common denominators are 4. So it means the, the denominator is 4. The sum of these two fractions is 5 fourths. Step number 3. Simplify the fractions if needed. 5 fourths is an improper fraction. So to simplify this fraction, we have to change improper fraction into mixed fraction. Divide the numerator by the denominator. So our numerator is 5 and the, the denominator is 4. 5 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to, very good, is equal to 4. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So it means the answer or the simplified answer is 1 and 1 4. Again, children, remember the three simple steps in adding similar fraction. Step number one, make sure that the denominators are the same. Step number two, add the numerators and copy the common denominators. And then step number three, simplify the fractions if needed. That's all for today, children. Goodbye and see you to our next math journey.